Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Roblox. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys every single thing that you need to know about. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential window settings. And for that, I would recommend you guys to turn on settings. And once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, go over to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. As usual, game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to increase your FPS. Then go back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. I have tested it multiple times, but game mode turned on gives you the best FPS possible. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open it up, click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options. It will help you to use your GPU for gaming as well as reducing your input latency. Go back to graphics and now over here, click on the browse button and add Roblox into this list. Now to know where Roblox is located, you have to simply search for Roblox player and then click on open file location. Right click on it and then go over to open file location once again. Now over here, copy this whole file location, click on browse and then paste it right over here. Then add Roblox player beta.exe, go over to options and then click on high performance Click on save, then you have to go back to browse and you also have to go and add the Roblox player launcher. Click on add, go over to options and then click on high performance, click on save and again go over to browse, add the Roblox player installer, click on add, go over to options, high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, close your settings. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for $53.78 but on this sale you can get it for $21.75 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. Mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number two is deanimating your windows and for that you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once this opens up, you have to click on adjust for best performance, click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. It will help you to minimize your windows animations and it will keep it subtle. After after that, go over to advanced section for processor scheduling, set this into programs. Next step is setting up your virtual memory. That is also right over here. Click on the virtual memory, click on this change button, deselect automatically manage paging file size and right over here, click on custom size, set this thing to 1361 as it is the most optimal. And then for maximum size, you have to open up calculator and you also have to open up system information on your PC. Look at your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. So you have to multiply 32 with 1024 and you'll get the memory size in megabytes. You have to divide this whole value by two and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. This is how you optimally set up your virtual memory. Once that is done, simply click on set, click on OK and then click on apply. Next step is for all Windows Pro users. So if you have a Windows Home, skip it. For Windows Pro users, what you have to do is press your Windows key and then search for local group policy the editor and once this window opens up you have to maximize it extend this screen go over to administrative templates windows components app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click on it and then simply click on enabled and default for all applications select force deny so now it will help you to stop running applications and services in the background this is super useful Next step is fixing all of your internet issues and input latency using exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of your internet issues and you can simply download it from the link in the description below. Once you open it up, the application should look like this and now over here you can simply search for Roblox and then select the nearest game region to you. For me, it will be Mumbai 01 and then click on use the IPv6 routes first. Use the routes within my country first and it will show you the estimated ping available for your game. 
Simply click on apply routes and Roblox will be added to your recent list. Now it will help you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance. So if you are having high packet loss, ping issues, latency issues, it will be automatically fixed with this one simple application. The best part about this app is a tool section over here which offers you dedicated FPS boost settings in which you will find the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option. If you enable them, it will also help you to boost your FPS. Once again, exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using it. And if you go to my link in the description below, you can get a 2 plus 1 month free that is a 23% off automatically on your purchase. So make sure to go check out exit lag, links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple. Search for create a restore point on your PC, look for your local disk C right over here, click on create and name it Roblox just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is super essential and important just in case you want to revert all of the settings back to normal without any data loss. Once it is done, simply click on close and then click on OK. Next step is a Roblox FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open it up and then you'll find in five simple folders and blockstrap.exe. Now the first folder has CPU priority, you open it up and you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you have an AMD CPU, you can run the AMD CPU priority. If you have an Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority. Simply double click to run them and you're good to go. Second one is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries over here and you can pick the RAM that you use. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM so I need to use this one. It could be different for you. Once again, if you want to restore it back, you can always do it from this button. Third is the Roblox priority and this is very important. You need to double click and run the Roblox high priority. It will set your Roblox affinity to a higher state, utilizing more computer resources for playing the game. Fourth folder is the unwanted services. This is completely optional. It helps you to disable all unwanted services that you do not use and disabling so will also help you to increase your performance. Once again, you can double click to run all of them for maximum performance and you want to restore them, you can always do it with the revert registries folder. Next is the programs folder in which I have left four simple files. First one is the disable memory compression. Simply right click and run this as administrator. What this does is it runs a command that you do not have to manually type in and it will help you to disable memory compression which runs a lot of services in the background which you do not really need. Then you have disable mitigations. It will help you to reduce your CPU usage. Third is the MSI utility v3 run as administrator. And once it opens up, select your GPU, click on the MSI button in front of it. From undefined, set this thing to high and then click on apply. This will set your GPU affinity to a higher level. Last is the unpack CPU and you have to right click and run this as administrator. Now once again, Windows has a tendency to disable the cores that are not in use. So that are called parked cores. Now once again, if you have more parked cores on your PC, you will have less performance. So to fix it, you can simply slide this all the way to 100% and then click on apply and it will enable all of the cores on the PC and make sure that everything is running perfectly fine just to give you better performance. Simply close this app and last is the block strap. You have to right click on this as administrator. Now, if it gives you an error like this, you have to simply click on yes and it will automatically help you to download the .NET architecture. Once again, you can simply click on it and then click on install. Once that is done, simply click on close and right click and run this as administrator once again. Now, once block strap opens up in front of you, make sure to go down to fast flags and right over here, you'll find your frame rate limit. Now you have to set the frame rate limit to 9999 and then the preferred lighting technology to voxel phase one. Then you have the preferred escape menu version. Set this thing to version four. Then you'll find use old material textures. You can simply turn this thing on. If it doesn't crashes your game, it's okay because it gives you better FPS. However, you can also turn this thing off. Rendering mode, set this thing to Vulkan. Anti-aliasing quality, go with 1x MSAA. Preserve rendering quality with display scaling, simply turn this thing on and that's it. Once that is done, simply click on the install button and now it will install Blockstrap menu on your PC. Simply click on install once again and now it will install Roblox with the best settings automatically installed so you don't have to change anything. Once again, you'll find play Roblox automatically added to this and it will automatically launch Roblox on your PC. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have made sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button, it really helps me out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.